Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing two coding questions which were asked in Deloitte NLA exam for 2024 batch students. This exam was held today only, that is on 15th Feb 2024. So, guys, make sure that you watch this video in the end so that you can get to know that what type of coding questions are asked in the NLA exam. This Deloitte NLA exam is on 16th also, 17th also, and 18th also. So, if you are having your exam in coming days, make sure to watch this video in the end. And guys, do hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe button motivates us for making more such videos. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, do hit that like and subscribe button and do share this video among your friends. So now let's start this video. Before moving ahead, I would like you to know that we are taking mock interviews for different different companies including TCS Ninja, TCA Digital as well as for Deloitte also, we are taking mock interviews. Till now, we have take a, taken to a total of 200 plus mock interviews and we have a lot of experience in taking mock interviews so if you're not feeling confident about your resume or about your actual interviews you can come book a slot with us for this mock interview all the links will find in the description box so guys now let's start this video okay so guys we will be discussing total two coding questions in this video first we'll be discussing the question then the approach of that question and finally the coding part of that question so starting with question one question is Write a program that takes a string as an input. String contains various words. Sort these words in ascending order alphabetically, obviously. After sorting the list of words, print all the words which are starting with vowel with their positions. Okay. There is note also given. There will be at least one word in the list which will be starting with vowel. So I know you might be confused. The question might not be clear to you just by reading it. So let's just quickly move towards the sample input. Okay. So this is our sample input given. Okay. So this is our sample input given. We will be given an input string. Okay. Input string. This is how it is given. So only God can judge me now. This is a sample input string. You can see that this string contains various words and every word is separated by a space. Okay. Now what will be the output? Output will be the word that will be starting with vowel. Okay. Output will be the word that will be starting with vowel and the after space there will be position of that word so you will say that only is coming here at the first position but why this only at here we have given sixth position so as i have told you that see what you have to do you will first have to sort these words in ascending order okay so this is the input string it contains six words first these six words will be sorted in ascending order so once these six words are sorted in ascending order the output string output array will look like this that is this is all the words sorted in ascending orders that is alphabetical so can god judge me now only so these are the sorted strings okay sorted words now you have to find that word which is starting with the vowel so out of these six words only one word is starting with vowel that is this only because o is a vowel now we have to print in the sample output we have to print that word only and space separated the position of that word. Now what is the position of that word? Here in the sorted list, the position of that word is 6. Since the position starts with 1 and index starts with 0, so we will have to look for the position. So position for only is 6. Therefore, sample output is only and space separated 6. I hope this input is clear to you. Now moving ahead for sample input 2. Again, God can judge me now. Okay, so sorry, this sample input will be wrong. Again, if I will do, let's suppose I have added A. So in this case also what will happen? So A will be printed and sorry, A will be printed and one will be the uh, position of it because once we are sorting this particular, uh, sorting all the words in this sentence, the output will become like this A again, sorry. Yeah. So A can God judge me now. So A is at first position now. Okay. A is at first position now. So this is how we have printed this. Now if there are two or three vowels word, words with uh, starting with vowel, let's suppose here uh, example so R. So here also R will come. Okay, let's just suppose we are taking an example. So first this vowel will be printed that is A1. Next, next word will be printed on the separate line that is A-R-E that is R and that is the second position. Okay, so I hope now the question is clear to you. It's very simple. An input string will be given to you with space separated words. You will have to sort those words in ascending order and then you have to print the words which are starting with vowel itself with their positions 
okay if that two or three words such words you have to print every word in a separate line with their positions like a is was at first position and r was at second position okay so i hope now the question is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the approach and coding part okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code and i will be explaining you the code line by line and the approach of this particular code okay so i am using the java language here so the approach is very simple see what uh, what is input given to us it is a string which which contains space separate words so we do not have to do anything we simply have to take that string as input so this is how we take string as input in java so this string that we have taken as input it will contain the space separated words okay now now what you have to do since it is an in, it is an entire string and it is made up of words we will have to first split the string into words okay we have to split that string into words as, and we all know that all the words are separated by space separated so there is an inbuilt function in string class only that will split the entire string into words and in return it will return the array of the words it will return the array of the words okay now in this array of the words we will have all the words here but now those words are not in sorted order now first of all we have to sort those sort those words in alphabetical order so what we'll do we will use an inbuilt function of java only that is arrays.sort because we have an array here so we have arrays.sort okay and inside that arrays.sort we will pass our words array this words array contain all the words now once this arrays.sort is over now we will have a list of words in sorted order that is in, in alphabetical manner now what we will do we will iterate over every word we will iterate over every word and we will check whether that word is starting with a vowel or not if it is starting with a vowel we will okay so what we are checking uh, let me explain again so we will be iterating over this sorted words sorted list of words and for every vowel we will be checking for every element we will be checking whether that <laughs> element starts with vowel or not if it is starting with vowel then what we are doing we are simply printing the that element okay with its position so position is starting from 1 index starts from 0 but position starts from 1 okay and for every iteration we are doing position plus plus so again i am telling you that once we have found a word which is starting with a vowel then we are printing that word with the position of that word li like this okay but on a separate line okay so now you will say what is this if condition so this this see vowels can be of lowercase as well as of the uppercase so we have first of all i have placed all the vowel characters in the list okay so it contains all the vowels so a e i o u a e i o u both uppercase and lowercase now in this if condition what i am checking whether this vowels list whether this vowels list contains okay i am checking this element element at caret 0 that is the first first character of that element whether that is a vowel or not so this is how i am checking using the vowels list contains method okay i will simply pass that okay the first character of the current element is this whether it is present in this vowels list or not if it is present in this vowels list then it means that current element is starting with vowel itself okay so i hope this thing is clear to you and if this if condition is satisfied we are simply printing that element with the help of that and the position okay so i hope now the entire code is also clear to you if it is not clear you can like just scroll back to the video and you can check for it you will say like those who know basics of coding also you will say that these are the very easiest questions one can get in an exam but they are actual questions and if you uh, if you will go to telegram and you will find these questions for yourself so these are very simple questions which are getting asked in deloitte so this was the first question now let's just quickly run this particular test case so only God can judge me now if we will run it. So our answer we know that it should be only with position at 6. Okay, only with position at 6. Now if I add one more uh, vowel here. So there are two vowels now. Two words starting with vowel. One is only, another one is R. So let's just run it. So you will see that R will be printed at first position and only will be printed at seventh position because total words have now become seven. So I hope now this particular code is clear to you. It will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. So I hope this particular question is clear to you. Now let's move towards the second question of this video. Okay, so guys, the second question here is write a program that accepts two string as input, that is str1 and str2. Check whether their lengths are equal or not. If their lengths are equal, print yes. Otherwise, print no. Again, it's a very, very basic question. 
if even if you have studied for one day the one day programming then also you will be able to do it okay if you will like if you are in shock that what type of questions deloitte are deloitte is asking i am also shocked it is very simple and yes these are actual questions which are which were asked in today's exam okay so i hope the question is clear to you and again it is very simple so what we have to do we have to take two strings as input this is a sample input two strings as input and we have to print yes or no we will print yes when the length of both these strings will be equal we will print no when the lengths of these two strings will be not equal so in this case sample input one so hello and world the length of these two strings are equal so therefore we are printing yes but if we change this string a bit so if we do hello worlds then the length of the first string is 5 and the length of the second string is 6 so in this case the length of both these strings are not equal we will simply print no okay so this was the entire question it's very simple again the code of this question is also of five, 4 to 5 lines only okay let's just move towards that code uh, sorry let's just move towards that code uh, yeah so I have already written the code again for saving time and it's just 4 to 5 lines of code so you will see again we have taken two string, strings as input string 1 and string 2 using scanner object and we are simply comparing the length of these two strings if these the length of these two strings are equal then we are printing yes otherwise we are printing no that's it let's just simply test it okay it was a five minute so hello world we are printing and we will once we will run it it will give us or it will give us it will give us yes output is yes and if we'll do hello world yes hello worlds it will give us no that is length is not equal because the up string one length is five string two length is six so these two lengths are not equal therefore no is printed so this is was the entire code of this question also so i hope both these questions are clear to you that the level of deloitte is very easy like i would suppose like even if you know basics of programming you will be able to solve both the questions but if you still feel that there are some questions in deloitte which were asked like if they were difficult to solve you can always contact me on telegram and you can share the questions with me i, I will be sharing the answer with you okay not during the exam again i'm telling you not during the exam but after the exam if you want me to make some videos i can make it but not during the exam don't send me during the exam i will not be helping you okay so i hope both these questions are clear to you and you will be able to now you have a fair idea how the questions are getting asked in deloitte and again i would like you to remind remind that we are taking mock interviews for different different companies deloitte tc ninja tc digital mindtree cognizant gen c so all these interviews we are taking total 200 plus interviews we have taken successfully if you are not confident you can come to us book your slot with us we are also doing uh, resume reviews also all these services are present on this top mid the links you will find in the description box so guys that th this is it for this video thank you for watching this video